And now you know how to find clashes, how to select objects to check them, how to use the types of settings and there is one more thing. How to exclude some elements from clashing. How to tell Namswork that we don't need some elements to be clashes, like the two floors that are really close to each other and then two columns close to the column. And for example, let's go to selection tree and let's click to the structure model in our office clash model. And let's hide and select it. And now let's go to clash detective. Let's add test and let's take this one and choose this mode self intersect. And now we can run it. Type hard tolerance zero. OK. And let's run it. And now we have a lot of conflicts, a lot of clashes. It's more than 1000 even. And let's pretend that we do not need the conflicts when the objects are in one layer. The layer is this is a layer, this is a layer, and this icon, this means that this is a layer, this is on part of the structure. E, and we can ignore some elements using the rules. Let's go to rules. And we have them, some predefined of them. And let's use the first items in the same layer. And so let's activate it. And Nemesis Work has noticed that something had changed. And we are going to now ignore all the elements which located in the same layer. And let's run it. And now we have more than 900 com conflicts resolved. And they are not clashes. Now they are resolved. And we can see it. Yeah. Now it's not a clash. Now it's not a clash because this is foundation and this Second part of foundation there on one layer. And of course, you can make your own rules. Let's go to rules and press new one. And, and we can choose one of these um, templates, rule template. But in first, I want to show you one thing. We can take the column, go to properties. And as you remember, the element has a lot of properties and some categories properties. So this one is a categories. This category is Revit type. And we have a standard property from Revit, which comes from Revit, like assembly description. And let's use it. And let's inform Nevisworks that we don't need objects like clashes when they have the same assembly description. Let's use this, op this property, assembly description which is located in Revit tab category options. OK. And so go to rules and make new one. And let's choose the same property value. As you can see, there are a lot of um, templates and you can choose one of them. OK, category Revit type. As we know, Revit type. OK, and this one is assembly description. And in the end, you have to choose. You want to use this rule for the last object, for the first object, or for the, even for the layer. If you, if you want, let's stay for the last object. But all this topic was discovered in the previous session of our course. OK. Now we are ready. And let's turn off the first rule about some same layer. And Nerseworks is ready to rerun it. OK. And now we have more than 1,000 and clashes. And let's go to rule back and activate our new rule. And now we have opportunity to rerun it again. Let's rerun it. And now, as you can see, we've got 156 resolved clashes. And they are in the end of the list. Now this is not a clash. This is not a clash. So two very close mm, floors are not a clash. The beam and the part of the column are not a clash.
and so on. And so when the element has the same, is completely mm, the same value of this property of the assembly description, or you can use another property or another uh, name of search set or anything else, you can make your own system how to ignore elements from the, the conflict list.